How's it guys? And in today's video, I'm going to just do more of a girly chit chat. I haven't done one of these for so long and this is the style of video I love. I don't like scripting my videos, although I don't mind pre-planning them and thinking about them. I love thinking about topics, but I also like to just talk off the cuff, friend to friend, girl to girl, woman to woman. I say girl, I still feel like a girl. And so today I just want to talk about some products that I've been using lately. And I'm going to answer the question that one of you asked about hunger and how to deal with hunger when you are trying to follow some kind of a weight loss journey or diet. So I will get to that question just towards the end of the video. So stick around for that or skip to that. <laughs> but for those of you who are new here, I just want to explain the reason that my face is a little bit asymmetrical. I'm still dealing with the recovery of movement. My nerves are still like regrowing here and coming back to life. So normally I would look a bit more symmetrical. I'm not apologizing. It is what it is. But if you are new here, you'd be wondering like, why? What's going on? So I'm looking down at all the products I've got. Because when I use something, I just want to share it with you. I want to tell you like, oh, this is great or don't buy that or whatever. So, and I'm also going to tell you something. Okay, let me start off with the one I haven't used yet, but I will <laughs> very soon. My son bought this for me for my birthday. It is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is so expensive. So this is the tiny, tiny, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, it's a sample size, but you can buy it. So it's not actually a sample that they give you, but you can look how small that is. Teeny, teeny, tiny. And this alone costs 270 Rand. What is that in dollars? It's about 15 ish dollars, I think. Um, it's around about $17 to the Rand. So I'll put it on the screen. So anyway, he got me this because I wanted to just try it before I go and buy the big size. And I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. Sorry, I hope it is not. Yeah, it is knocking on my um, neck cuff. I'm just trying to wear the microphone somewhere where it's not going to. I don't know. I'm wearing this neck cuff with this pink shirt, but I don't know if it actually goes. Outside, it is so cold and rainy and miserable. It is our spring rains here in South Africa. We have. And in, in the area that I live in, it's called KwaZulu-Natal. It's on the east coast of South Africa. And we get rains. Usually it rains on Christmas Day. So we get rains from like the 1st of September, well, springtime. And it just progressively gets heavier and heavier. And then around about January, they stop. But like now, it is cold. It is rainy. It is miserable. I'm definitely a weather dependent person. I could live wherever it is hot and sunny all year round. Anyway, so now I'm trying to wear a long sleeve shirt, but now I wanted to pretty it up with this and then I'm wearing the microphone. So sorry if it bumps. So I will use this and report back, but I'm just kind of waiting for my face to heal and just feel a bit more normal. But anyway, it's getting there. I have been using, now this I splurged. I think it was when I was, I just come out of the dental surgery and I was feeling sorry for myself and I probably shouldn't have, but the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Overnight Treatment. The reason I bought this, completely the reason I bought this was because I saw, you know, the ex-supermodel Paulina Poriskova, I think I'm pronouncing her surname correctly. On Instagram, she had a post. If I can find it, I will put the clip here. She had a post where she spoke about this. You know, she gets sent PR. I wish I would get sent Estee Lauder PR. I love Estee Lauder. Um, but they are expensive. So she got sent this one. I think she got sent this with the Advanced Night Repair. So this is the Advanced Night Repair Overnight Treatment. And she said she just tried it, not thinking it would do anything much. You know, none of these things really live up to the promises that they claim on their packaging. And she said she woke up the next morning and was just like, wow. She said it just did everything that it said it would. I tried a new night cream that has a tagline that says it will make you look like you have had a great night's sleep. I don't exactly know what that means, but I woke up the next morning and I'll be darned if it didn't look like I had a great night's sleep. Uh... My face looked very even. It was moisturized, 
which is true for all really good um, creams. But when I leaned in closer to the mirror, it also seemed like my crow's feet and my lines were slightly less pronounced. And I have never seen that. I've never seen any cream do that before ever. What is the cream? Well, I am incredibly fortunate in that um, I get goodie bags sent from um, all different companies. And this one is a oldie and goodie. Um, my friends at Estee Lauder sent me the uh, Advanced Night Repair Cream and Eye Cream, and I have the serum as well. So I thought, okay, I'm convinced. I'm going to try it. I'm going to buy it. So on Estee Lauder's website, if you sign up, you get 15% off if you enter your email address. So I did that. I got 15% off, and I have been using it a few nights in a row, and I do like it. I really do like it. What I like, it's like, it's actually like butter almost. Look how thick that is. And a little, 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 little bit goes a long, long, long way. So I don't want to waste because it is expensive, but it's like it's got the consistency of room temperature butter or maybe even thicker. And then you just, so that it's not a runny, it's not runny at all. As you warm it up, it, it gets a little bit more runny. I, I literally dip my fingertips in and then smooth it on my face. That's been a couple of nights worth and it's hardly used. So it will last me a long time. I can see that. It's value for money in that way. And I can't say I've noticed much of a difference in my skin yet. But again, I'm dealing with a little bit of swelling from um, this, the dental stuff. And sometimes it's hard to say. But... What I will say is that it feels divine. I'm enjoying using it, and it's something subtle. I can't really put a finger on why I prefer to use certain face creams and products, but I'm going to just compare it to these oil of Olay's, which I bought. They were all on a special. It was these two and the serum, the Re Regenerous Serum. All of these, along with a little um, toiletry bag, they were all on some ridiculous special. I can't remember now. It was about a year ago, I think, six months ago. But I'm not loving them. <laughs> They're okay. I'm not loving them. This one smells nice. The vitamin C luminous niacinamide moisturizer plus vitamin C. I mean, it's got all the ingredients that you would want, but it's very, very... This one is the texture of Pantene conditioner. I know that sounds specific and bizarre, but it's like, I'll show you here. It's not buttery. It's like a runny. Can you see there? There. It's like a runny um, cream. It's not thick and buttery. So already I've used quite a lot. And I've actually found, I'm just starting to use it as, don't kill me now, <laughs> as a body lotion. Because it's kind of too, it's too light for my skin. Maybe if you are young and you've got oily skin, this would be perfect. But I mean, guys, I'm 46 and I just, I feel like I need more. The older you get, the more you feel like you need. And this is just, it's too, there's something about it. It's not, it's not thick and doesn't sink in. It's, it's just a feeling I don't like. And the smell, even the smell, it's got a, so a pleasant, pleasant smell, but it's like a Pantene conditioner smell. It just this, I don't know why, I don't know why, but this reminds me of Pantene shampoo and conditioner. So I've actually started to use it as a body lotion. Then this one is a bit better, the Olay Regenerous. It's not as terrible. It's a bit thicker. So you can see it's, almost, it's also more opaque. I don't know if you can tell there. Similar kind of generic Pantene smell. I don't know if it's all made in the same factory. It's a little bit thicker, the cream. It's better. I prefer it, but I'm not wowed by it. And you are supposed to use the serum first before the cream, but I'm not wowed by the serum either. The serum is nice. I mean, it's like a pearlescent, uh, how you, there, it's like a pearlescent serum, but I don't know. Serum also has that like Pantene shampoo smell. It's weird. They all that, that's how they smell. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing I can say. Yeah, like I said, nothing wrong with it, but nothing that wowed me. There's something like I when I put on a moisturizer, 
there's a feeling I'm looking for inside my skin. And I only know when I wear it. It's a feeling. I don't know. It's a feeling. I have used, there's a brand here in South Africa called Lamel, and they have a moisturizer called Syrah, which is like for dry skin. That moisturizer is to die for. And again, it's, it's how it feels when it goes on. This kind of leaves me feeling, my skin still feels thirsty. There we go, that's the way. My skin still feels thirsty. And this, as opposed to, oh, let me go and get it, the Cure um, Serum, the, it's a big difference. Okay, so the Cure All-in-One Serum, if you are looking for a serum, I'm guessing you want something that is going to work and going to deliver results where, you know, this to me feels gimmicky. That, that's the word. This, the Cure All-in-One Serum, to me really feels like it delivers. It feels like the ingredients are active ingredients. It doesn't feel like it's just a nice gimmicky, nice smelling lotion. This one smells chemical. There's no like added fragrance and I have shown you guys this before. Oh, also in this, um, I love the packaging. It's like a matte smooth packaging, but look at that. You don't have, if you travel, that just goes away. It's just a twist. I love it. I love it. And then if you pump it out, I don't want to waste here, but you can see it's got the retinol color, the yellow, and it dries down kind of matte, which is perfect for then putting on a rich moisturizer over. And this one really is all in one. It's got every active ingredient you could want. I need glasses. <laughs> okay, it treats uneven skin texture, fine lines, dull complexion. Um, it's got argyrolene peptides, vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, retinol, bacuchiol, niacinamide. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, bacuchiol, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, there you go. And I love this serum. And I'm not a much I'm not much of a serum person. I don't like a million and one products. I'm really, I'm not a I'm not a skincare fundi. I'm not a makeup fundi. I like one or two things and just to be done. I just want it like fast. I just want it done fast, quick and simple. I prefer spending my time in the gym, running, walking, patting my dog. <laughs> um I don't know, uh, painting, lately I'm doing some rhinestoning. I just prefer to do other things. I don't mind doing a little bit of makeup, especially now that I'm on YouTube. But I'm kind of like a, I just want something quick like this. Or I just use tretinoin, you know, something simple. I just want the one product that delivers. So this really is awesome, especially if you can't use tretinoin. So I've spoken about this before. They sent this to me as a sample. They, they don't pay me to make these videos. I wish that they did. I do have a 10% uh, off discount code or link for you guys. So if you follow that link, you can go to their website and you can buy anything off their website at 10% discount. I really do like their products. I like their um, micro-infusion kit because I have tried derma rolling before on my body, not on my face yet. And... Every time I do derma rolling on my body, I get one or two more on the bony parts. I get little um, abrasions because it like catches my skin. Whereas with the microinfusion stamping kit, when you're stamping, the needles are just going in and out. There's no rolling action that can pull your skin. So if you're looking for some kind of an at-home micro needling, I highly recommend the Cure, what's it called? The microinfusion kit really really nice i still have to finish it <laughs> i will get around to finishing it so i just thought i'd tell you about that as well again i just have a discount code it is an affiliate link but uh, they don't pay me unfortunately to do these videos but if i like something i'll tell you so i do like that the next thing i wanted to show you i ordered this and i see other youtubers talk about it i've been looking for something because we're coming up to summer here in south africa a body shimmer oil thing this is not cheap but it's also not super expensive. Um, in South Africa, it was 535, I think, or 555. Also got a discount off when I bought this off cosmetology.co.za. I think that's what it was called. It's a body, it's a dry oil. I've never used, is it Nux? Nux, Nux, <laughs> Nux. It's a French thing. 
um, but I wanted something with a shimmer more than the oil. It smells divine, and I always like a, a nice smell. It is oily. I wish they had a pump bottle, but let me just show you. If you I don't know if you'll see the shimmer on camera, but the shimmer is... You actually need to see it in down lighting. Let's see here. It's a subtle, subtle, no, I don't think the camera's picking it up. Not really. There, there, there. I'm trying to show it to you. The shimmer, it's microfine little shimmery particles that just catch the light, you know, just in certain angles. So it's not glitter. It's not glitter, but it's, there we go. I don't know if you can see. It's shimmery sheeny. No, the camera doesn't pick it up. Also, it doesn't really get picked up in this overcast weather. Sometimes you'll pick it up. I don't know if you can see it on my fingers. There. Um, it's very, very, it's a very fine, subtle shimmer. It, it adds a slight bronze color as well, but I do like it. And what's nice is that it's a moisturizing body oil with a sheen. So you may as well, if you, if you are using something in summer and you want that little shimmery sheen, that's quite nice. But look, the bottle is small. I, I, I did expect, I expected a much bigger bottle when I ordered this. But I know that this is available overseas because I've seen many YouTubers talk about it. And it is nice. It, it's a subtle, like I say, very subtle. You can see the little flecks there. So you, there we go. You can actually see it more in the bottle. You could use it on your face, on your cheeks. I, I predict I'm going to use it on my chest and on my shoulders legs too if you if you have a nice sort of summer tan or you've just had a spray tan done you could enhance it with that that's really cool it smells like summer it smells like summer which actually segues nicely into the next lot of things i want to show you guys oh before i talk more about smells you will notice that i have not got any nails on and that's something that i do fairly oh, oh see now i've got a little hang skin I've taken off all my gel, all my acrylic, giving my nails a break, and I'm really actually enjoying, I'm really enjoying having nothing on my nails so that I can type. It's easier to type on my phone. All I have right now is my all-time favorite. My all-time favorite is the OPI Nail Envy, the original nail strengthener. It gives a slight sheen. It does strengthen your nails, especially after you have taken off your gel or taken off your acrylic or whatever it is you know your nails are always a bit more soft and brittle after that so this stuff it gives a sheen without being overly shiny it gives a bit of a like a kind of a you'll see there like a whitish pinkish i don't know how to describe it but the nails look done without being done and it does this bottle has lasted me four or five years now and i've just bought a new one just as backup so anyway I'm, I'm really actually enjoying the no the not done nail look and feel the feel of having your own nails i think for now at least i know i go through phases <laughs> i'm sure you also go through phases but for now i think i'm going to just leave my nails like this I, i'm actually i'm kind of done with with done nails i'm done with extensions and um you know, gluing on stuff and ugh, I just, I need a break. It's so nice to have my nails back, my fingers back to myself. You know, where you can feel things, you can run your, your other fingernail under there. You can, it's just, it feels nice. And so, and I've also noticed that overly done or painted or decorated nails can look, I'm not saying always, but they can look a bit cheap, a bit nasty, a bit gaudy depending so i mean i always like a classic nail classic red classic french but this actually looks neat tidy and anyway and i've said about the nails but anyway perfumes my all-time favorite perfume and this is the one i have bought again well my actually my boyfriend bought it for me but the first one i think i bought for myself about four or five years ago this is the lancome la vie est belle it is my it, i feel like it's my signature scent it is warm and spicy and vanilla -y and sweet and when i wear it people compliment me on it so this one i've had for a while this is a big bottle it seems to last all day long when i oh it's nice when i wear it i can still smell it on me at the end of the day and that is what i want 
This one I bought a while ago too, but this one, Chanel number no. five, Le 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 I don't even know which, if it's even got another name, but it's the Eau de Toilette, which I should have bought the Eau de Parfum. It does not last. It is a nice smell. It's more sort of, I, I, I'm not good with perfume smell names, but it's more mus musky, spicy, cinnamony, pepper, I don't know. But you spray this on and within, I don't know, within a short space of time, I cannot smell it. And by the end of the day, I can't smell it. So I do feel like, like I wasted money on this one because I personally like a perfume that lasts, that I can smell all day because it gives me joy to smell good. <laughs> Now, for my birthday, my, oh, speaking of birthdays, it's my son's birthday today, so he's just turned 15. So for my birthday, I've been testing out this perfume every time we go to a mall for about the last six months. This is the Miss Dior, just the plain Miss Dior perfume. Every time we go past the Dior counter, I have tested it, smelt it. Isn't this so cute with the little bow? This is the small bottle. It is the 50 ml, I think, 50, I think the other, yeah, 80. This is 80 ml. This is not even eau de parfum. This is parfum. This one comes in parfum, eau de parfum, and eau de toilette, I think. I think it comes in all three. I said, well, if we're going to pay that much for a perfume, let's just cough up, go for the strongest one that's going to last, then you don't need to use a lot of it. How do I describe the smell? It's complex. It's, it's, I'll try and see if I can compare the two. Okay, like all Christian Dior perfumes, because I've got their hypnotic poison, it's like a blend of everything. It's complex, it's citrus and apple and clove and cinnamon and something and some, I don't know, it's just like everything and cherry and it's really nice. Oh, I'm doing that so you can smell. <laughs> it's really nice. But I've, I've used it once or twice, and by the end of the day, I couldn't smell it. And so then I went to the – and then what I realized I was doing was that I was spraying one on, but because it's so thick, you can actually feel the it's viscous and thick on your arm. I was then doing that, you know, how you spray and then you rub. And I think that was actually ruining the long-lasting effect, or at least for me. So yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? I went just to the shop to get some groceries. And I did one squirt, one squirt. And then I said to my partner, when I come home, please tell me if you can still smell it because I can't smell it by the end of the day. So I did that instead of rubbing it. And then I could smell it. I could smell it later on me. And when I got home, he said he could smell the perfume as I walked into the room. So hmm, this one, it's a very, I don't know, complex, adult, luxury. I don't know how to describe the smell. I really, really, really like it, especially when I first spray it on. I don't know if this one wears as well on me as the La Vie Estelle. This one's sweeter, more vanilla, I think, and I, and I do, I love vanilla. But speaking of vanilla, I was watching another YouTuber, and she mentioned the Tom Ford vanilla. I think it's just called vanilla or whatever it's called, perfume. So we went past the Tom Ford counter one day, and I said, oh, I'm going to just try this one. Spray their vanilla perfume on. Guys, it smelled just like the vanilla car scent that I hang in my car. It was just plain vanilla. Nothing wrong with it, but it smelled exactly like my vanilla car scent. The, these like, they're called jelly belly things, these things that hang in your car. And I just thought to myself, I would not pay thousands of rands for a perfume that smells like my car, <laughs> my car smell. I could just buy one of those and like rub myself <laughs> with the car scent. So I realized at that moment that you can never take a recommendation from a YouTuber. You just don't know because everyone has different tastes, scents, opinions. So please don't even take my word on these two perfumes. And these are my two favorites. And I, what I often do is I try out perfumes at perfume counters often. These two are divine. It's funny. They both have little bows on them. Hey. These two are divine. La Vie Est Belle and Miss Dior. Miss Dior. Dior, Miss Dior. And I think most people would love them, but who's to say that you would like it? Maybe you would hate these perfumes. You know, perfume is such an individual thing. Another one I've just tried, I'm, I'm going to test drive it a few times. Every time I go past the counter, I'll test drive it. It's the Estee Lauder Belle. 
I think it's beautiful bell or just bell, but it's got the word bell in it. So Estee Lauder currently are running this um, Christmas special promotion where they've got like full size samples in this gift bag. And then if you buy a perfume, you get this whole gift collection bag for like 2,700 Rand, which is a huge, huge, huge discount if you're going to use everything in that gift set. So while I was there, we were just testing out perfumes and I liked their perfume bell. But again, I wouldn't just rush to buy it because I mean, basically, I feel like I wasted money on this one. You, you could end up wasting, in, in America, it would be hundreds of dollars. In South Africa, it's thousands of rands. I mean, that could be half of somebody's salary, you know. So if you are going to buy a perfume, never feel ashamed for testing and then testing and then testing again. Walk into every perfume counter and test that same perfume at least five times on you. Wear it and go home and then... By the end of the day, see how it wears. Has the smell changed? Because it can and does change. By the end of the day, like this one does change. The, there's different notes. So when you first spray it, it's like lighter and spicy and whatever, citrusy. And then it like warms up. So you need to know how is it going to wear on your skin and how will it warm up as you move about and as you sweat and whatever. So please never feel shy to go in. Even if you have to go to the same perfume counter, three times and test that same perfume just do it because yeah otherwise you'll end up regretting your purchase he has a weird thing with estate now as you can tell i do like estate lauder the first time i ever indulged in estate lauder was when i used their skin perfect i think it was called skin perfecta i was young i had oily skin and it was like a bluish bottle i think and that stuff made my skin feel like velvet then i moved on to their double wear foundation which is like i think it's become a cult classic and so I decided a while ago to try their concealer. The lady sold me the 3C, but I think it was more tan. So the 3C is a bit too dark for me. I'm going to show you though. So I went in the other day to ask for the one down and I got the 2C. But look at this. It's very weird. The 3C is like, let me show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. I'm, I'm going to turn my hand around here to show you there the top one is the 3c the bottom one is the 2c but the 2c is a lot more pink the top one is more like my skin color which is like a yellow tawny so to me they are completely different undertones where they should be the same undertone the one should just be lighter so i bought it not even testing it just thinking well 3c 2c but now the 2c is like pink and it's cooler but it's not really cooler because you can see it's, it's also a dark color isn't that weird so again i should have tested i should have asked her to swatch that color for me I, I i don't know why i didn't i just blindly assumed because i told her what um, foundation i use i use the fresco the estee lauder double wear fresco which is like the perfect the perfect match for my skin tone and yet this is a bit, I mean, I will try and use it up and I might try and mix them together or something. But again, you know, I hate it when I hate wasting money. Don't mind if something is good quality, rather not buying a whole lot of cheap stuff and just spending on the one good quality thing. I don't mind that, but I don't like wasting money. And I'm sure you feel the same. Okay, right. Now let's just get on to answering that question. Maybe I will do a full video on this. Let me know if you would like a whole video on this. But hunger. If you are on a diet of some sort, like a weight loss diet of some sort, or you are cleaning up your eating, so you are moving more towards healthy whole foods, fibrous foods, or you are now saying, okay, I'm going to restrict my portion so that I am sticking to a calorie budget for the day. Let's say you've decided 1,800 calories or whatever, but you were used to eating more. You will feel hungry. Hunger is a very, very normal part of reducing your calorie budget, reducing your overall calories for the day. Hunger is also a normal part of changing your diet. Or, I mean, and so when you feel that hunger, I would say you've got to, this is just my humble opinion as always, got to ride that wave because there's also your body gets used to 
being fed a certain amount at a certain time every day, whatever your normal was. And now when you are changing from what your normal was to your new eating plan or your new diet, it will send hunger signals. So usually I find I'm hungry in the mornings because I'm used to eating in the mornings. Um, lately I've been eating whatever, whenever, and a lot more. So this morning I had something small and, and I'm already hungry, but I know it's just because I'm used to eating more. So, it, but I know it's not hunger, hunger. It's not like, um, oh my God, I'm going to just collapse and faint hunger. It's more just my, my body's like saying, hang on, we, we are used to a bit more. And so I think you've got to ride that wave and you've got to tune into your body and know, is it just a, a little hunger blip response that you can get used to? Or is it true, I need food hunger, like when you are actually too low on food? So you've got to experiment, I think, and just see, ride a hunger wave and see, because usually hunger comes and goes in waves and then you can, like, so when you are intermittent fasting, the hunger signal will come maybe at breakfast time, then it goes away, then it might rise again at lunchtime and then it goes away. So let's say you're fasting and you're going to do your evening meal only. So you've just got to ride those two waves to do your evening meal. And the same would be if you are changing from a certain, maybe you just ate junk and now you want to eat healthy and uh, stick to calorie budget. You've just got to ride those hunger waves. Try that and then see after a week how you feel. Obviously, you will be eating and you will be feeding yourself. So you're not starving yourself. So you, you know that. It's just an adjustment sensation. Like I never, ever, ever, I never recommend starving yourself. I always recommend, at least for me personally, three or four or five meals a day, smallish ones. I mean, you can break up your calories for the day however you want to. But like I say, if you are switching things up, it's normal. It's natural to feel a little bit of hunger. Or if you start a new exercise program, and you've added in a whole lot of exercise, there will be a hunger response. And then you just need to sort of see how you go with that hunger. But again, if you are starving, don't deny yourself. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> I mean, I think we are old enough now to, to take charge and to realize when we are putting in calories unnecessarily that we don't need. We know when it's food that you need, that your body needs for fuel. And then we also know when it's just for fun or it's a habit or now we're bored. Do you know what I mean? I think tune into your body. And I know it's easy to say, but you have to get still with your body. And then if it's just like the, the grumble, but you're not feeling like shaky or weak, you're not having like a low blood sugar crash, because those are different things as well. You can just ride that wave. Another good, good tip is to just do something else. Get busy, do something else. Go for a walk, uh, do your pottery, your painting, your sewing, your knitting, your phone a friend, cook, cook the meal for later. Don't eat it, don't eat it then. Um, just get busy so that the hunger is in the background, but you're not thinking about it so that you don't cave in and eat the wrong thing if you are on some kind of a weight loss journey and you want to hit your weight loss goal. Unfortunately, those sort of temporary little hunger spikes, they do come and go. It is what it is. I wish, I wish I could tell you that you will never feel hungry on, on a weight loss diet, but you will because your body is used to a certain amount of calories in a day, in a week, in a month. Now you say, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds. You are going to reduce your overall calorie consumption. There will be that, that response. <laughs> So I hope that that answers and helps that. I hope it helps you. Um, let me know if you would like even more in-depth um, a, a discussion on that. And I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I enjoy doing other styles, more of a girly chit-chat. And then today, I'm going to go to the gym for the first time in over a month. So I am actually feeling like quote-unquote nervous which I can understand how you guys would feel if you've never joined a gym before or if you haven't been to a gym in years. You do, you get that like anxious feeling, like what if people judge me? What if they are looking at my cellulite butt? What if they are looking at my flabby tummy? And I can tell you for a fact, no one else is looking at you. 
I mean, they, they might glance at you and they're, they're looking at you, but they're not looking at you. Everyone is in their own head. Everyone is wrapped up in their own lives. Everyone is wrapped up in how they look, what exercises they are there to do. So if you are nervous about joining a gym the first time, or you've got that like gym and anxiety, just remember everyone started as a beginner. I mean, I started as a beginner. I knew nothing from nothing. So just accept that. Go with the beginner's mind and say, today for the first day, I'm just here to look at the machines, just to play around, test them, ask for help, and just allow yourself to be a beginner. Allow yourself even the grace to use the machine wrong. And if you are using it wrong, or and somebody comes and corrects you, say, oh my God, thank you, you know, like all... You go to a machine and you don't know how to use it. If you ask somebody who looks experienced at the gym to help you, they will be so glad to help you. Most people love to help. They love to share their knowledge. Also, make use of the staff at the gym. At every gym that I've ever been to, that's what the staff are there for. <laughs> so use them and try and walk yourself through the experience slowly. So it's just say day one, you're just going to go in there Get used to the place and leave. Day two, get used to one or two more things and go home. It's, it's anything you do for the first time. It's a whole learning curve. And you just need to have grace with yourself. And give yourself a, a week to just, yeah, get used to the place, experience it, learn where the lockers are, learn where everything is, learn your way around. Get used to the sights, the smells, the people. So even if you are nervous to try equipment, maybe every day just challenge yourself to try one new piece of equipment and then just use what you are used to, you know? It's okay. It's okay to go so slow and introduce yourself very slowly to something new. Okay, I think that that wraps up today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.